Welcome back, everybody, to some more Astral Chain. I'm your host, the Musical Gamer. We've got ourselves a, uh, bit of a doozy of a fight up ahead. Apotheosis. It's time to fight Jenna before she gets the drop on us again. Let's just, like, try to speed our way over to where she is. We need to beat Jenna Anderson. She's a rank C... Oh, my God. She's a rank CX, uh, monster. But really? That's just freaking rude. Oh, my God. I was in the middle of a picture. You don't, you do not interrupt a man's photo op. I'm gonna just tell you that right now. Get the hell out of here, you jerks. Oh my god, that's lightning, that's lightning, that's lightning. Lightning bad, lightning bad. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I missed the goddamn. I missed the move. I missed the thing. That's 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 less than good. Yeah, HP, please. Now, yeah, thank you. Whoa! All right then. Oh, I still have my gun. But this is this is why I'm having a little difficulty. Arm Legion, you're supposed to you're supposed to help me fight this thing. I can't stay. I cannot keep my health. I just cannot keep my health up. There we go. Okay. Now can I kill you? Or can I take a picture of you? What one or the other? Holy crap. Uh, excuse me? Alright then, this is how we're gonna play it. Uh, yoink first. Jenna Apotheosis. Frank CX. That sounds lovely. Hoi! Me over here. Ah, uh, Arrow Legion, sure. Yikes! Yo, Sword Legion, what? You're going the wrong way, dude. Uh, sure, Axe Legion. Come on out here and help me. I, I have no idea if that actually just saved me from the damage or if I just got stupid lucky. Oh! Oh! Okay. Right. Um. Give me your shield. How about Speed Star? It's an ability I actually just acquired for the Axe Legion. Uh, it looks like it's. Oh, oh no. Um. Um. Oh! Ha. Huh. Okay, then. That's how you want to play this game? Fine. That's how we're going to play this game. Ow. Oh, that's right. Do I have any other... No, I don't have, like, anything else. Attack up, armor up, defense up. Uh, yeah, you know what? I will gladly have this. And it does actually restore a little bit of my HP. Whoa. I... <laughs> let me out of the... Let me out of this building, please. That wasn't so good for my arrow legion. Um, all right, sure. Come this way. What am I? Yeah, I was about to say. What am I getting my gauge refilled? There we go. It's not too bad. Oh my god. That's pretty bad though. Uh, sure, actually. Yeah, Orm Legion. Help me out here, buddy. Damn it. Just like doing. We're just like chipping away. This guy's. Oh. 
HP. Slowly but surely, we are getting there, but it's, uh, it definitely is slow going. Ow! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, this is a bad move. This is a bad idea. Bad idea. Don't mind me as I just whack at you. I'm like, wait for my feature to come back. Oh, uh, just give me a minute, please. Please, please, just give me, give me, a, give me a moment here. We tried. Whoa, come back. A uh, blue shield? I don't know how, how well this is gonna protect me. Uh, yeah, you go, oh, no, 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 that's the wrong button. Uh, you you take a you take a back seat. Arrow Legion, you're the quickest. Let me through here. Oh, that that thing just took a shot for me. All right. What did I just do to his hand? I blew it up! Okay! Now we're in business! Ugh. That's right, you've been disarmed, Jenna. How does it feel? Yeah! Eat shit! Oh god, I'm eating shit. I'm eating shit. Oh my god. That is freaking cool. <laughs> S plus, baby! Holy crap, that was awesome. <laughs> Meanwhile, we nuked the city. Because of her sheer amazingness. You did good, kid. You did good. Oh, god damn. <laughs> Why won't you die? For the love of all that is good and holy. Uh, I'm not picking up any, any vitals. Wait, are you saying I'm dead? Whoa, what's going on here? Are my legions trying to break out? Whoa! Wah! What the? Okay, then. What did I just see happen? Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god. Stop! It's me! I know you can hear me! 
Oh! No! You stop that! I don't know. You, who who can't hear this? S stop! Stop for the love of God! Resist! God damn it! Oh, okay, okay. You recognize me? I know it. Come oh my on. thumbs! Oh God, I gotta do it again! Oh, come on, please, for the love of God. Ah! Oh, my hands can't take much more of this! Stop! Please! Oh, God. Oh! 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 Okay. 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 I'm ready. Round three. Come on. Let's do this. Let's fucking go. Oh, no? No round three? Okay. I'm... I'm good. I'm good. What? I tried to warn you, but you didn't listen. What the hell? Now you understand. This is the true form of your legion's power. What? All it can do is, is cause pain. Nothing more. We have that in common. In this form, e even if you do survive, in the end, can you... Can you... Call yourself human? Yosef. Right. Aim for the Legion. Yosef, you have some explaining to do. Oh no. Fire. Oh no. All. Who are they? Why do they have armor like mine? Let me introduce you. Behold, they are the Union government's newest elite task force, the Ravens. And they are your new partners. Oh no. I. What? Just what? I mean, what, what did you expect? Doctor? You're wearing the same freaking armor as them. I knew. I knew. I knew Yosef was up to no good. So wait a minute. Let me see if I've got this. Let me see if I've got this right. This is the final form of a human legion partnership. This is what Jenna was trying to warn us about. The legions. Ooh, excuse me. Wow. I'm. I'm like. I'm. I'm so. I'm so into this! Oh god, I... So, what Jenna was trying to warn us about is that when you partner with the Legion, they eventually, what, fuse with you? Try to take over your body? And this is the form, this is the evolution that Yosef was looking for. I knew Jenna was really kind of on our side, if, if we say our side is humanity. She wanted to keep everybody human. Oh, fat, fat, lot of good that did. Or look, look how she turned out. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. Are we actually dead? I need to see. I need to see. Let's keep going. Yeah, take my temporary goddamn items. What the hell is gonna happen next? 
I still don't think this is the the last file either. The file 10, what we're going into. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay then. We've got a whole bunch of more whole bunch more information now. Okay. So, historical records, the last file here. July 2nd, 2078. Official public statement resist, uh, regarding the existence of chimeras as a vector for corruption. The following notice is approved by the Union government for public dissemination. As we are now aware, the gates that plague our city bring more than atmospheric contamination. In the course of investigating the activities of known terrorist Jenna Anderson, the Union government became aware of the existence of life forms called chimeras, which enter our world through the gates to further the spread of corruption. A union committee is currently investigating the nature of Anderson's connection to these chimeras. Arc residents should be aware that chimeras are very physically powerful and generally invisible to the naked eye. However, please be assured that there is no need to panic. The Ark was constructed with avoiding corruption in mind. In addition to the shelters already established for use during mass gate outbreaks, the union government has prepared further measures to protect you from chimeric attack. Foremost among these measures is a new counter-chimeric force within the Ark Police, the Raven Corps. This is the message they're sending now. The Raven Corps is a team of highly qualified officers, the very best the Ark Police have to offer, tasked with protecting the city from this invisible threat. Outfitted with cutting-edge weaponry developed at the Aegis Research Institute, these Ravens will soon be mobilized to ensure the safety of every zone on the Ark. The captain of the Raven Corps is an exceptional officer named Akira Howard. Though young, Howard was handpicked by Dr. Joseph Calvert, the, RI, the RE's foremost authority on the Astral Plane, to lead the Corps. Further information on Chimeras and the Raven Corps will be made available at an upcoming Union, union Press Conference, date TBA. <laughs> Probably date never. If I had a guess. Raven... Ooh, okay. So we have all of these um, passworded stuff here, some, some duty reports. Let's take a look at those in a second. So, duty report, March, Mar no, 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 sorry, the, the other way around. This is the European way of reading dates. Uh, this is July 3rd, 2078. To all of my friends at Neuron. It sure is lonely here in the basement of police headquarters now that all of you have been reassigned to different precincts. Even Akira is pretty scarce these days. I guess being captain of the Ravens must keep you pretty busy. Even though I never get a chance to see your smiling faces in these halls, I hope you all know I'm cheering for you as hard as ever. Everyone here on the Ark depends on you to keep us safe, yours truly included. So don't forget, okay? Finally, I have some bad news. I received a letter telling me I've been reassigned. As of today, I'm officially back with the Traffic Enforcement Department. You all know what that means. No more Marie at Neuron, and even more tragically, no more Lappy. But don't worry about us. Lappy and me will get by. Who knows? Maybe you'll see me out there someday while you're crossing the street. If you do, you better say hi. Forever yours, Marie Wentz. As a parting gift to Neuron, I'll be sure to get those floors clean so you can eat off them before I go. Oh, Marie, no! She's been she's been reassigned. Yosef is destroying Neuron. Okay, so a bunch of people have been telling me that the password... What is it? Is it 1148? No. 1142? Something, something along those lines. It's the twin's birthday. God damn it. Now I need to... <laughs> now I need to look this up. Hold on, give me a second. Because I actually want to read these reports. There we go. There's the code. 1125. All right, so we can take a look at all of these reports now. They told me to write whatever I wanted, so as long as I wrote... As long as I wrote, so okay, I'm writing. Someone's got to keep a record of all this. Might as well be me. Not that anyone's ever going to see it anyway. To give my most honest impression, all this feels like I've been invited out by a senior officer and dropped in a raw situation as a cruel prank. My dad was a cop too, and I always wanted to be just like him. I had dreams of saving the world, all that. But when you get out on the front lines for real, there's not any kind of hope that won't get shaken just a bit. I can feel mine shaking pretty hard right now. Two more of my squad turned today, Kevin and Shintaro. There's no words for how it feels when a squatty had your back yesterday and you've got to kill him to survive today. No good ones, anyway. No words for the feeling when you realize it could be you tomorrow. How are you supposed to keep the peace with a feeling like that kicking around in your head? Nothing you can do but try and ignore it long enough to get out there and destroy more of the damn gates, hoping there's an end to them someday. That's enough writing for now. I better get moving. Maximilian Howard, yeah, these are all by Dad. 
I wrote this all down as it happened, and now I'm putting it here because someone should remember the worst damn thing that ever happened on the Ark. That's my responsibility as a survivor, I guess. Sorry, nobody who's actually good at writing made it out alive. I put it all down as best as I can, but there's a lot I didn't know too well to begin with. And a lot more I can't stand to write in detail. So keep that in mind when you read this, if you read this. November 24th, 2058. The whole disaster response unit got called up at once. We knew right away we were dealing with something like we'd never seen before. You could hear it in the voice of the brass as they gave the order and told us we were going to Zone 09. Oh no. This is the... What did they call it? The, not a calamity. They, they called it something. A disaster? Here we are. They tried to fill us in on the way over, but they undersold how bad it'd be. The whole zone's toast at street level. And humans left under unredshifted went upwards, they say, towards the top of the buildings to get away. The moment our choppers touched down, we immediately started loading people back on them to get the, them out. There aren't enough helicopters. The captain took one look at the scene and immediately called for backup. No head count or anything. He didn't need one. Not sure the backup ever came. It already feels like we've been here forever. I'm gonna gather a posse and see what we can find down below. The more aberrations, the lower we go. It's not like how we do it on the outside. No clearance from the Union necessary. No reports to file afterwards. Just kill, kill, kill. There are the aberrations and hope there's any survivors to be found. I don't know how long it's been since the last time I wrote. I know the sun came up and it felt like I'd never see the light again. Then I saw that light was glinting off a giant goddamn wall coming up all around. Whatever that wall is, I get the feeling we're on the wrong side of it. We hurried back up to the roofs like we were trying to race it. The captain was the only one still there. He waited around for us, bless him. How did he say it? The Union made the call, boys. They're cutting the zone off. There were still survivors down below, and he knew that. I guess orders are orders. He said our ride out would be there in an hour. The way I saw it, I had an hour to save whoever I could, and I took off running. About a little later, I'd have to probably die along with the captain and the rest if I'd stayed. It felt like hell, but in the end, I could only save a few people, including two babies, who I figure must have found the worst possible time and place in human history to be born. Oh boy, that's us, guys! When I looked down from the hatch of the helicopter that finally took me out of there, the only thing I could see below me was more faces watching us fly away without them. That's all. Truth be told, and I know maybe they're reading this and I don't care. I don't have any more reasons to stay in this shit outfit following orders for this shit government. So to found something I have to keep safe. Those two babies I wrote about before. As long as I have them, I know there's something new and pure just in this world that I can protect. I have a reason to keep fighting until the whole world is like the- Oh, Dad! Dad, for the love of God! Oh, you were- You're too good! Oh, my God! I'm writing another one of these things because what else am I gonna do? I got myself hurt again. It's the first time in a while they've had to haul me back to this hospital. I'm sorry to break the streak. The last thing I remember before I woke up here was taking on some beast-type chimera or other. I guess Jin and Alicia must have finished it off. We'd have some young blood on the team. Sounds like I was the only one who got hurt, so that's a relief. But it makes me wonder how much longer I can keep doing this. I figure it's still ten years or so until the twins are officially adults, so I should hang in there until then. This is the worst of it. I can stick it out another decade just for them. I'm already tired of lying here in the hospital, but they tell me rushing out will only land me back here again for longer next time. I'll ask Jin to watch the kids for now. I'd rather have a couple more years before they learn to talk like Alicia. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, God. Ah, oh, Dad. Dad, Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're... This is like ten years later. Oh, my God. There's some backstory. Oh! Alright, now some Raven Duty reports. What are we looking at here? Uh... Maison Forest. Summary Gate Chimera Disposal. Carried out disposal of five gates and 14 humanoid-type chimeras appearing in Maison Forest. Engage with targets who are far from residential areas. No human casualties to report. No injuries to officers either. Due to a high number of gates appearing in the area in a, in a short time, public access in the area is prohibited for the next seven days. Security perimeter will be enforced by reinforced drone security. This was this was July second. Oh no, that was uh, sorry. Th th that's December seventh. This is July second. Okay. What about this one? So July third. Responded to gate appearance at Zone 21 Energy Processing Center. Made visual confirmation of the large gel-type chimera, codenamed Hades. 
records of the Chimera necess necessitated formation of an ad hoc disposal team. To reduce potential damage to the facilities, we lured Hades back into the gate and engaged with it in the astral plane. Two heavy armed legions provide proved sufficient for this purpose. All responding ravens pursued Hades through the astral plane. Target was successfully eliminated without energy, energy, injury to any energy processing center employees. One raven officer tried or suffered minor injuries resulting from rapid adjustment to the astral plane, but this presented no danger to the operation. Notes. Confirmed structural aberration in one area of the energy processing center. Arc energy production is expected to fall approximately 2% until this contamination is properly removed. Removal will take an estimated one month. Ooh. A blue case. Also July 3rd. Retrieval of lost pet. Captain Akira Howard took it upon themselves to handle the civilian request personally. With the cooperation of other ravens, Captain Howard used the Wolf Legion to trace the missing dog to a newly formed gate. So now Akira is using multiple legions. The, the artificial nature park was immediately closed off upon discovery of the gate. Captain Howard entered the astral plane in search of the missing dog, but was unable to find it. After Captain Howard personally notified the owner, other ravens on scene eliminated the gate. Whereabouts of the missing dog remain unknown. No officer or civilian injury to report. To all Zone 10 police officers, an Ari data breach. The Ari has notified us of a potential data leak. Highly classified information is believed to have left Ari walls. A high level of security clearance is required to access the data in question, so chances are extremely high that the leak is the doing of a mole within the Ari staff. Could that be, uh... Could that, could that be our techie friend? I don't know. It, it sounds like it could be him. Due to the nature of the data, it is imperative that the public not learn of the leak. Dr. Yosef Calvert has ordered an internal investigation and security audit at the Ari. Also due to the nature of the data, it is very likely that this data breach will become a police matter. All precincts are to have staff on standby in case the person responsible for the leak is identified. Criminal Affairs Bureau. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so that's a... That's a whole bunch of information there, Chief. File 10. Madness. Frenzy, derangement, or delusion. A state of chaos. Oh, great! Let me guess! You talking about us? How? You're awake. That's a good sign. Oh my god. You're okay. Dude. Olive! Easy there. You've been asleep for three whole days. How are you fe- How are you feeling? Are you okay? Does anything hurt? Olive? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, you still recognize me. That's a relief. Sorry, I bet that was a shock. So, what do you want to hear first? What? I... Woo. Okay. okay. Uh, nothing. Yeah, no. I don't need, I don't need any, any, anything answered. What the hell? Now we woke up in, in, in a room with Olive and Hal? Dear God, that, this, this is a lot of stuff to take in. And take in we shall next time on Let's Play Some More Astral Chain. Thanks all for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know down below. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my Patreon page. Just seen a little uh, bump for that in the beginning of the episode. A dollar a month goes a long way to keeping this channel up and running. This channel is ad-free and uh, demonetized from YouTube. So, I wholly subsist off of whatever you guys deem, uh, deem I am worth over there on the Patreon page. So, thanks all for watching. This is The Musical Gamer, signing off. I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys then.